Hello class, just an update and some insights into uh, the paper that you got coming up due for week five. Um, first of all, I wanna talk about uh, your discussion posts or lack of discussion posts. That was very unimpressive for the most part. I don't know what, what's going on. Uh, this has been a good group. Maybe the group I had last um, this summer was, was just stellar. But I can't believe that they are that much better than you guys are. But honestly, it looked like most of you just kind of mailed it in. Uh, you didn't take it seriously. Uh, you did the minimal work uh, to get through this. Uh, a lot of you didn't even respond to my post, which, you know, normally I don't care. But uh, uh, at the same time, there's a lesson to be learned that, you know, you don't ignore your, your professor, your instructor, your boss, any of those people. It's just not a good habit to get into. At the same time, you know, don't ignore your peers either. These are your, your many classes. You're the teacher there. And some of you are, are failing as a teacher. You're failing as a, uh, as a discussion post. Fortunately, you're not failing at the class because it's just one assignment. But this was really uh, anemic and sad for, for a caliber of student that uh, I've become accustomed to at, at CCU. So uh, one or two of you did, did good, not great. Uh, but the majority of you just mailed it in. You put a few sentences down there. Uh, you cut and pasted the questions and you just answered them underneath. You didn't craft an essay. Uh, you didn't speculate. You didn't do a lot of analysis. You didn't do a lot of introspection. Uh, you just kind of wrote a book report. And, you know, this isn't seventh grade. Uh, book reports are done. You're at college level now. This is a so what uh, analysis, Stat stats, data, research, uh, journal articles. References. Most of you didn't even use references. Uh, you just pasted stuff in there. Uh, a lot of you just did the biblical angle, which is awesome. A lot of times people seem to forget that. But then you didn't you didn't match it up or pair it up with the culture or contemporary issues or problems that are going on. And that's a, a pretty one-sided approach. Now there are a ton of videos out there that I've put uh, using the Powtoons software that that address these issues, and I think if you watch those and take them seriously, a lot of these issues could have been avoided. And that that's a good transition into the paper. If you do not watch some of those videos and freshen up on that, if you do not take my advice, I'm not going to feel real sorry for you if you do poorly on this. Uh, you're looking at education, transportation, the environment, those type of things. You're doing quality research. Uh, that's never going to go away. You're using good sources to do that research. You're not using Wikipedia. And then uh, you're going to do some analysis. You know, well, how has this impacted you personally? Uh, so what? Why does this matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. Um, you're going to have a thesis and then you're going to destroy your own thesis. You're going to take the other side and, and present that argument too. Um, if the page count, and I don't remember on this one, if it's three to five or whatever it is, let's just say it's three for the example, um, and you you have wonky margins and you have four spaces between your paragraphs and you're stretching things out. I um, realize I just graduated from college myself not that long ago uh, with my PhD, and I know those tricks. I've done that stuff, so I'm going to see it. I'm not that that far behind the curve on that stuff. So, uh, you know, don't, don't do that stuff. Here's my best advice. Uh, take this seriously, do the work, start early, edit, 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 then edit some more. Um, share your work with others that, uh, that can give you quality feedback and go from there. But uh, uh, I can't tell you that I'm super impressed as a group, but I, I am hopeful too, because I saw some insights. I saw some sparks there that, that encouraged me. So my challenge to you is to uh, forget this, Forget week uh, four, forget the discussion. Let's move to week five. Pick your own topic. I'm not gonna assign the topics. All right, I'm about free choice and giving you some autonomy there. Uh, I know you'll like that, and I would too. I mean, I like having choice. So pick the one that interests you the most and go ahead and write on it. But again, that just raises the expectations bar a little bit higher because if you're picking your topic, then I expect you to be uh, somewhat passionate about it. So with that in mind, I am a text, a phone call away, or reach out to me, but, uh, uh, let's let's forget about week four. Uh, you guys look like the Bears and the Broncos combined. Uh, not impressed. And I, you could check through my videos. I don't do this very often. I really don't scold my students. But uh, it was not not a good week for the class. All right, but week five is going to be awesome. I know it is. God bless. Reach out. There's no excuse for failure. 
uh, other than lack of effort, uh, because I'm here and I'll, 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 I'll walk the whole journey with you. Just let me know. So I'm going to post those videos up and uh, I'm, I'm going to be excited to see what you guys produce in week five. And uh, don't disappoint yourselves. All right. God bless. Bye.